Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and um, as we read more blog posts of the upgrade to 24H2 of Windows 11, um, of course more people are having issues of all sorts. Um, many of the issues are not big things, but they are still little problems. So when, for example, you use an app, uh, you notice in Windows 11 there's a little bar under the app icon, this is to tell you that the app is open. So even if you minimize, it will still be there, a little smaller, but it will show you that the app isn't closed. Well, some people are saying that some of their apps, when they actually close them, they're still a little bar like this, as if they minimized. But in reality, if they hover over, there's no miniature of anything open. And what happens there is that there's definitely, absolutely nothing running in uh, the PC, it's just that that icon has cleaned up that little kind of notification to tell you that it's active. So there's things like that. I've also seen some people mention that their USB thumb drives or external hard drives aren't detected. And when they move back to 23H2, it's okay. So there's definitely little bugs here and there. Um, I don't know if it has to do with that error message that I've been getting, which is uh, also kind of telling me that there's something about the the way the kind of the desktop or whatever the uh, the uh, system is actually uh, working. But there's a a lot of people mentioning that their lock screen has kind of broken, also on 24H2. The other thing that's kind of interesting here is it's where all people that moved up from 23H2 to 24H2, and one of the things I often mention is that, you know, when you have a new version, often it is actually better to apply the new version directly rather than upgrade. Sometimes it prevents some problems from moving on. But uh, the amount of little things that I see here and there, uh, definitely a lot of people are, are having issues with 24H2 of different levels. Of course, there's also some that say they have blue screens while they upgrade or they have also uh, the update that kind of rolls back. Once again, kind of telling us that uh, maybe, maybe you should be waiting for the official release this fall rather than jumping quick with the release preview version that you know is going to be testing for the next five months. So hopefully things are going to be fixed by then. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.